going on everybody man i've been meditating outside like a lot and every time i meditate i keep on seeing these butterflies float like a butterfly sting like a bee my name's grant jones and i'm the best mc like i, I can't stop seeing these things and in today's video i want to talk about the transformation process and how to get to your higher self Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Grant Jones and I help people grow physically, mentally, and spiritually. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there and hit the notification bell. That way you can stay updated on all new videos. Now in today's video, like I said before, I want to talk about butterflies and the transformational stages because I feel like a lot of us are going through that same thing right now. And right now during the pandemic, it's hard for a lot of people, but we have to realize that we're caterpillars about to become butterflies. So many times in life we feel like we have to crawl through those hard times and nobody's there with us, but we have to realize that other people are willing to help us. We just have to look around. If you're a butterfly watching this video, make sure that you are helping those caterpillars too because you were once a caterpillar and you have to understand the process and make sure that other people understand as well what they're going through. A lot of times I feel like I've been meditating outside and I just can't stop seeing them. Like yesterday I saw a white cabbage, a butterfly, and then today I saw like a black and orange butterfly. And they just keep on flying everywhere I go. And I feel like that's a signal to me that I'm transforming and I'm not the same person I used to be. And that's great because once you can aspire to be your greatest version, you can start making those changes right away in your life. Point number one, I wanna say we need to transform our physical bodies. We need to let go of things that aren't serving us instead of just eating all this junk food. For me, I had to go plant-based a lot for my physical body because I had to get rid of all the foods that weren't serving me in life. I had to get rid of the meat, the red meat. I had to get rid of uh, chicken. I had to get rid of cheese. Cheese was very hard for me to give up anything that came from animals because once again we're all connected and we need to make sure that we're treating people the way we want to be treating and including animals animals have souls too and it wouldn't be right if we were just killing them and we get mad when animals kill us because they're just reciprocating what we're doing so we need to make sure that everybody is treated equally including animals once you realize what you're putting into your body then you'll understand that your body is a temple and you need to treat that temple with the utmost respect. A lot of times in life, we eat foods that make us feel good for like a second, but then later on, we really don't feel good. And it's one of those things where you need to eat foods that are very lively and that will help you transform. So the very first thing I wanna say is make sure you're eating healthy. Step number two, we need to start transforming our minds. We need to start changing the way we think, transform those mindsets. Um, a lot of it goes to what you are tuning into. Think is your uh, body, your mind as like a radio station and you can tune to different radios. We have certain genres we like, we have certain songs we like and if we don't like that, we can just turn to another station. Same thing here. If you are watching a lot of violence, playing a lot of video games that have violence, uh, watching a lot of music videos that are like not being nice to women, they're kind of like objectifying them, your mind is absorbing all that and you need to consider the fact that what you intake is what you're going to start becoming and you need to make it a mindful decision of what you're watching. Same thing for television. Um, you need to make sure that you are watching things that are love lifting and things that are encouraging you to be your best version. Uh, the news can be a source of information, but at the same time, it has like 95% negative stories going out there and it's not healthy to watch all those fearful stories. We need to make sure that we are always um, striving to be the best version of ourselves and being mindful of the stuff we're intaking. Um, and also alternatives to watching TV, you can also read, you can write music, you can uh, create. A lot of people 
uh, feel like they're not creative but I feel like everybody has some creativity inside them whether it's drawing whether it's writing whether it's poetry whether you sing whether you dance find something that you can express and get yourself away from that TV because they call it TV programs because they're programming you so make sure that you are doing your best to make sure that you are filling your mind with your own thoughts and not somebody else and my last point point number three we need to start transforming spiritually. We need to let go of belief systems that aren't serving us anymore. A lot of times religion is made up to separate us and we need to identify that. We have more things that are alike than different. And once we start realizing that, we can all start coming together. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. A lot of us have been in the caterpillar phase before and we have to realize that life is a process, not a destination. And one day, our day will come where we'll go from the caterpillar stage to the butterfly stage. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Love and light.